Putting an end to the era of all-time low interest rates, Korea's central bank has hiked its key benchmark rate for the first time in well over six years. The decision coming as the Bank of Korea thinks the economy is strong enough to handle the increase, but there are still worries over the country's eye-watering level of household debt hovering at around 1.3 trillion U.S. dollars. Kim Jeon reports. The Bank of Korea raised the benchmark interest rate by a quarter of a percentage point to 1.5 percent, the first rate hike in six years and five months. It puts an end to the record low key rate of 1.25 percent that the BOK has been maintaining since June last year. The bank's rate hike decision comes despite heightened geopolitical tensions stemming from North Korea's recent missile tests earlier this week. The decision to raise rates is mainly attributed to the fast recovery pace of the South Korean economy and takes into account various external factors, including mounting expectations that the U.S. Federal Reserve will raise rates again in December. With signs that the recovery momentum is set to continue, keeping the rate steady yet again would have led to an imbalance due to the effects of further monetary easing. South Korea's GDP growth in the third quarter of this year grew at the fast pace of 1.4 percent on booming exports, and consumer sentiment reached its highest level in almost seven years in November as relations between South Korea and China improved. Despite the optimism projected by Korea's central bank, local experts raised concerns that the rate hike would increase the burden of the 1.3 trillion U.S. dollar household debt, since it would severely affect homeowners' ability to repay their debts and raise the risk of people defaulting on their housing loans. Despite the series of government measures that were unveiled earlier this year, the increase in Korea's household debt is showing no signs of waning. A rate hike could put a strain to those who have to pay more in interest payments, which means less spending power and thus prolonging sluggish domestic consumption. The experts said the focus now is on how fast the BOK will raise rates again next year, which is expected to depend on the recovery pace of the local economy, housing market trends and further rate hikes from the U.S. Federal Reserve. The BOK governor says they'll closely monitor the housing market, but it projects the Korean economy to grow at around 3 percent next year on expectations that semiconductor exports will continue to rise. Kim Jian, Arirang News.